everybody, it's me Vanchika from Vanchika's World and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be baking and we're going to be making these super delicious blueberry muffins. These are super healthy as well. So let's begin. We have two cups of wheat flour, half cup of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. We also have blueberries. And for the wet ingredients, we have two small bananas that are mashed, one cup of plain yogurt, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two eggs at room temperature, and one fourth cup or four tablespoons of melted butter. First, we're gonna mix the dry ingredients. We have our flour, our sugar, now we're gonna add in one tablespoon of our baking powder. We're not gonna add in the cinnamon yet, but we're going to add in our salt and we're just going to whisk them together until they're well combined. Now you can put this aside. Now we're going to move on to the wet ingredients. For that, we're going to add our two room temperature eggs. So you want to make sure these are not cold. They have to be room temperature. Add the whole egg in them. Next, we're going to add in our melted butter. Now, we're going to add in our yogurt. This also should be at room temperature. Give it a mix until it's all well combined. Make sure that the eggs are completely beaten. You want to make sure that you get all the lumps out. Okay, so now that it's good, it's nice and smooth. And now we're going to add in our vanilla extract. So we're going to add in one teaspoon. Add that in. And then whisk that in as well. To that, we're not going to add in our smashed bananas. Whisk that in as well. Just remember that you're also going to get some lumps in it, and it's fine if your mashed bananas aren't completely mashed. The, the small lumps from the mashed banana will give it some texture and some good taste. Okay. So now I have my wet ingredients all mixed up. Okay, so now we're gonna take our dry ingredients and we're gonna add our wet ingredients into our dry ingredients. Maybe add like half at a time. So now we're gonna use a spatula to fold it in and mix it in. Now we're gonna add in the rest of our wet ingredients. Okay, so after you mix it in completely, you're going to have a really thick batter. As you can see, this is really thick, but that's okay. Now, we're going to add in our blueberries. I have two, about two cups, but you can add and how many blueberries as you like, from one and a half cups to two cups. We're going to put all of that in and fold it in. You don't want to smash the blueberries. Just remember that the more blueberries you add, the more taste it's going to give. So 
So our blueberries are now mixed in. Now we're going to add in our cinnamon. And mix it in until it's well incorporated. And it's okay if, you, if you've already added your cinnamon in the beginning with the dry ingredient. It's all going to get mixed up anyways. Okay, so now we have a lined muffin tray that we're going to fill up about halfway through. I'm using an ice cream scoop. I'm using another spoon to put it in. We get every bit out. Might be a little hard because this is a really thick batter. And now we're just gonna continue that with all the rest. So now I have filled the muffin tray and we're gonna tap it. So this okay. Now that it's the muffin tray is all filled, we're gonna bake it in a preheated oven at 375 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. Oh my god. These are finished product these have baked and they have cooled and they look so good and they smell amazing so I'm, so I'm gonna eat this one and you can see that the blueberries at, that were at the top have broken a little bit and they have like like oozed mm -hmm. mm. this is so good it's really worth it to put the extra blueberries in. After it's cooked, the blueberry is like a little more tart and so it gives a good taste. So that was the recipe for the blueberry muffins. And don't forget that, that the recipe is also in the description below so you can check that out if you would like. And thanks for watching. And I hope you really liked this video. And I would love it if you would like, share, and subscribe. And Turn on the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video.